My name is Brian Wood. I'm with the PR team at Wolfram. Uh, today I'm here with Jamie Peterson. Uh, she is from Wolfram U and she's here to talk a bit about some of the latest events and certifications that are available from Wolfram U. How are you doing, Jamie? Hi, Brian. I'm good. How are you? Excellent. Excellent. So um, let's start off with uh, something that, that I personally worked on just a little bit as well, uh, this data science boot camp. So tell us a little bit about what that is and um, some, of the, some of the things that happened this year uh, in data science boot camp. Sure, I'd be glad to. Um, boot camp was uh, a really great experience. And of course, uh, this was the second year we ran data science boot camp, but the first time we ran it completely online since everybody's been working from home as of, of late. Course. Uh, so uh, our boot camp happened in July, and maybe I'll um, maybe I'll share my screen to show you what that uh, what that event give you an idea of what that event was like. Uh, so here's our our uh, boot camp page. It happened at the end of July, and we ended up with um, about 40 very enthusiastic uh, attendees. Uh, really with a range of Wolfram language experience. Many, many were beginners uh, new to the language. We had students, we had professional and academic researchers. We just kind of had the whole gamut and uh, many of them came with projects that they had um, an interest in, you know, maybe related to their own personal research. Uh, and we encouraged them to kind of uh, bring a, a publicly available data set or their own private data that they wanted to explore as part of this boot camp. Very cool. So, um, so what kinds of projects did you have coming through there then? Um, just pretty, pretty, pretty wide variety, I suppose. Yeah, that's definitely true. And that was really one of the really fun aspects about it. Um, let me get my notebook up in front of me here to take a look at that. Um, refresh myself on some of these specific projects, boy, it really was a wide range. We had um, one professor who was looking at foreign documents and trying to make a judgment of the readability uh, in the text. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, maybe I can show one of those visualizations. It might be cool. We actually have this in a blog post. So if you're interested to see more of these details, uh, I'm sharing some of those here. Uh, but this is from Professor Vlacko's project. And um, yeah, that was funny. The, the conclusion he made is that yeah. uh, <laughs> Jean Reno's uh, is easier to read for an English speaker. Uh, so that was interesting. So that was kind yeah, of fun. Just uh, based that, on some uh, French Wikipedia articles. That's exactly. Fun. Right. Pulling the data from Wikipedia. Um, then another project was personal fitness data. And uh, our camper, Vlad, um, a CS student, explored uh, data collected from his Apple Watch and uh, has some visualizations here showing uh, about, uh, and this one here is, is predicting, let's see. All right, so it looks like, yeah, the, the predicting uh, workout type. So that's, he's got all these, all these different workout types, um, which, and, and actually the thing that I found impressive about this was the, the accuracy just based on so few examples. Um, and, and he definitely, I know he was looking for more data. He, he was asking everyone, hey, does anyone else have more data I can work with? So he was, he was very enthusiastic about that. Right, right, and saw some pretty good results with that. Um, yeah. Tim uh, is one of our own uh, Wolfram uh, staff people that that chose to participate in the boot camp, and uh, he was uh, building a custom neural network to uh, to look at word and sentence sequences. Um, and this visualization is from his project here. Was this yeah. one you had a chance to look at? Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Um, I, I, some of the some of the anomalies there, I think, were kind of interesting. I I wouldn't have thought about uh, what kinds of letters are common, you know, commonly replaced uh, to to make a different word or to you know respell or correct the spelling of a word. Um, but some of those that, that the things you see listed there, like the fact that J uh, is often replaced with M. You know, I, I don't know why that's the case, right. but I, I find it really interesting to sort of, uh, and, and I can only imagine some of the, some of the additional things that Tim may have found in there. 
Right, and and the so the motivation for us pulling these particular projects, um, in addition to finding them very interesting ourselves, is that we had our campers vote on what right. their favorite right. projects were, and these were the projects that uh, got the top votes. So, and you can, I think you can see why. And I hope everyone takes a look at the blog post to kind of uh, look a little more into some of these uh, projects. Yeah. yeah, and here's the last one that we shared. This is from yeah, this, this uh, was this was a much more advanced one. I thought uh, the subspace flow problem a little bit more technical, but uh, it made for some some interesting visuals. Right. So yeah. So um, what other kinds of events do you have going on besides uh, data science boot camp? Um, we have all kinds of events going on with Wolfram U. Um, in addition, and, and I'd like to, if it's okay, I'm going to share my. Um, my browser again here and I'll show you Absolutely. our Wolfram U page which will help me navigate through some of these things here. This is our Wolfram U landing page and uh, the topic areas that we offer uh, training and self-learning resources but to see our events we go we go down here to the bottom and this shows you what's kind of scheduled right now. So of course technology conference uh, training is one of our uh, one of our upcoming events. Uh, study groups is another uh, really great opportunity. Uh, most of these, um, many are free online events that happen in study group right now. The linear algebra is uh, going to be starting uh, mid-October, so very soon coming up. And if you're interested, uh, I encourage anyone to go to that Wolfram U page and check out the study groups. Uh, they, they meet Monday through Friday for an hour with an instructor, and you're reviewing uh, short lessons, you're given additional resources to kind of self-study on your own, and then you bring your questions and have discussion, take poll questions, take quizzes, and it really is a, a fantastic learning opportunity to really um, build your skills. Yeah, and I, I've heard that, uh, you know, it's, it's a very rich environment that is because so many different people show up to the study group um, yeah. and you can't beat that price of free so <laughs> exactly exactly and it's very interactive which is which is what i really right. like about yeah. it as well um so people people doing any of these events uh i understand that we've got some different certifications some some sort of uh, recognition that people can get for completing different things. So can you right. explain just a little bit about that? Sure. Well, and absolutely. And, and we were talking about boot camp and one of the um, outcomes of our boot camp was that campers uh, received uh, a certificate of program completion uh, for you know, just attending and participating in the boot camp, but then we have a level we have level one and level two certifications, and this is a this is a newer initiative from Wolfram, and you can go to our certifications page, and you can see it's it's got a whole range of different categories, topics, types. Many of them are related to our interactive courses. For instance, the the multi paradigm data science. Uh, interactive course. This is a cloud-based, free again, um, interactive course where you can enter the course environment. Um, and I can do that right here and show you how that looks. Um, this is what the course looks like. And so these are all different videos, different video lessons that play. There's a lesson notebook on the side. And then this is even a uh, scratch notepad that you're live in the Wolfram language in the cloud and can try out many of these examples yourself from the course. So um, again, our certifications are tied to these courses. So when you complete, and I'm, I'll just kind of select data science here. When I complete the data science course, I can get a certificate and it's all embedded in that course. You don't have to ask anybody for anything. Your, your interactive course tracks your progress for you. As you complete all those videos and pass the quizzes within that course, you earn your course certificate. Um, we have additional uh, certification levels beyond that course completion and that's a level one. And here I'm showing you our Wolfram Language and Mathematica level one certifications. These are based on a, an exam. So these are not tied to a particular course, but once you feel like you have, um, there's some guy, a process here that's recommended, once you feel like you have um, explored a lot of the different 
areas of the language. And of course, there's a, there are, there's a, there, it's a very vast language and a lot of functionality. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you Indeed. do want to kind of review what your, you know, what this exam is going to cover. But uh, this again is a free exam and you request the exam. And if you pass it, you've earned your Wolfram Technology Level 1 certification for the Wolfram language. Right. So, so that's sort of um, level one is a certification specifically for the language, whereas some of the, the course completion are maybe more based around those particular topics. Is that kind of how it works? Exactly right. Exactly Cause, right. Because I know I got my course completion from the multi-paradigm data science course. Uh, so I haven't, haven't done, I don't think I've done the level one certification yet though. So maybe I should get on that. <laughs> right. And we hope to expand. This is a, a, a program that is you know, we have plans for additional certifications. In fact, level one um, in, in image processing, level one in multi-paradigm data science, those will become available within those courses. And as you'd expect, they require kind of an additional assessment piece. So you might be taking an exam, you might be taking, you might be doing some uh, auto graded exercises within that cloud interface uh, to demonstrate your competency in that particular area using the Wolfram language. Um, but we do hope to have level one certifications. I can show you right now, the ones we have right now are in calculus and linear algebra. And these are both exam based, kind of, you know, how you'd expect a traditional math course uh, to run. To get your level one in linear algebra, you, you uh, complete the final exam within this course. Same thing with calculus. And um, if you come to this page in the near future and uh, view and browse these level one certifications, you'll see image processing and data science added to the list in the very near future. Oh, okay. So there'll be topic specific ones there as well. Good. Right, right. Um, yeah. And, and you mentioned that uh, it's sort of automated uh, quizzes and grading and things, which is one of the, one of the interesting parts to me. It's kind of nice that you can get through all of that process and learn so much um, without necessarily having to have a, a mentor or a teacher there to sort of step you through each part of the process. Exactly. We don't require, and that's why we can make it for free right now. There's no proctor. There's no mm -hmm. uh, individual grading your exam. It's all automatically done in the cloud, which, and it's a very ambitious project. Um, and the technology required is, uh, is one we are, we're troubleshooting and um, <laughs> that and it, so it takes a while and I know people are very anxious for us to get more certifications up but um, we want to do it right and we want it to be uh, to perform just the way we want it to when our customers um, access these certifications um, and one more thing about certification I might add Brian if I can is that level two um, is available with the multi-paradigm data science course and that's what we offer to those uh, participants at boot camp who were able to uh, submit their final projects, like the ones you saw on the blog post there. Uh, and uh, that is a paid certification because it is actually a project that one of our uh, instructors grades. So that's a very okay. personal assessment. And that's our highest certification type right now is level two. And that's available in the data science topic area. That makes sense. So, so you get a little bit more of the, the personalized attention, maybe have to do a little bit uh, more in depth of a project, um, but it's it's worth it because you, it's, it's quite a learning experience. Right. Cool. I agree. Well, is there anything else that you wanted to uh, talk about in reference to um, what what kinds of I, I guess where would somebody use these certifications? Oh, well, we hope people will post them on um, their profile pages like LinkedIn. Um, we have a LinkedIn group set up now with Wolfram U. Um, any place that you share professional credentials on your CV, on your resume, um, Again, it's a it's a newer program, but we are um, we are looking forward to seeing more and more people take part and uh, and and list those certifications in their Excellent. credentials. Um, and I I think you might have mentioned this, um, but people can get certifications from the daily study group as well. Is that is that correct? That's true. That's true. Yes, and it, it does depend. Um, on the topic, we have a variety of different topics that we run through these study groups. But for instance, linear algebra um, is the one that's coming next. Right. You uh, can earn a certificate of program completion by attending and taking part in that study group. You also need to take a weekly quiz um, 
to demonstrate you know that you've been there and you're involved and that will earn you your certificate of completion the level one in linear algebra will continue to offer through that course so what we'll what we'll be telling people in the study group is we're ve working very closely with our linear algebra interactive course and we encourage them to then go complete their level one um, by completing the requirements in that course which of course involves that final exam if you remember so uh, some extra yeah. work for <laughs> sure to get that level one yeah. all right well thank you very much for uh telling me all about that um so anyone who's interested can definitely just watch the wolfram u page for upcoming events um, join the daily study group for linear algebra, which is coming up very soon. And hopefully people can, uh, you know, take the initiative, get their certifications and, and really uh, make the most out of what we've got well, from you. So uh, thank you very much for talking to me, Jamie. Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. You can check out other Wolfram Tech Talks, live coding streams, and more on the Wolfram Research YouTube channel, or see what else is new at wolfram.com.